look at that nice smooth motion. Welcome to the Hunter Report and today we're going to talk about upgrading from a cheapo tripod uh, like this you know guy with a rolly head here and the, the main difference between a cheapo tripod and sort of the next level is that you get to put custom heads onto what you call professional tripod. Another name for them is tripod legs. So that's what you really want to search for on Amazon, on B&H, tripod legs. And then you can match different kinds of heads onto tripod legs. So this is the Hunter Report. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up. And um, let me show you this beautiful, beautiful tripod combination. The reason that I upgraded was to get a better head. And the reason I needed the better head was that there was a lot of shake, a lot of shake in my videos because I had the cheapo tripod, I have beautiful piece of heavy glass, a 7200 Nikon, which is about two pounds. Uh, so it was just creating some instability and I was panning. And when you, when you have dynamic video, it makes the video uh, more engaging. It's called increasing the production value of video. So I have this little combination here and uh, you know, I'm not a millionaire, but uh, maybe if you, uh, this v video goes viral, although I, I really doubt it will because it's, there's no plot here. This is literally a product demonstration. So this is a uh, good little combination. And I had three criteria that I was looking for in the tripod. One was height and height is so important. Um, I've been in some situations where my little cheapo tripod over there couldn't get over um, most people's height. So, you know, I'm about close to six feet tall. Um, and if you can get about six feet or uh, six foot three, you're gonna be able to hit over 90, you know, 8% of people in any room, uh, which really helps you capture somebody on a stage. Stages are usually lifted. So this actually goes up to six feet, six, six feet, eight inches. So that's plenty of clearance. So reason number one was height. Reason number two uh, is stability. And reason number three, or criteria number three, is weight. Now, if I was a millionaire, as I was uh, saying before, I could go carbon fiber um, for a few extra hundred dollars. I don't have that kind of money to be putting towards this gear. So, you know, it's, it's building that muscle power, which is fine. You know, this is what work and uh, picking yourself up by the bootstraps is all about. But um, that's what you call a car alarm here in New York City. So let's wait for that to finish. Finally, car alarm finished. Um, so this is the Benro tripod. Check out the description below for a link on Amazon to the product. Um, it's a five pound tripod, which, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not the lightest tripod in the shed. Uh, if you go carbon fiber, you can get this down to, you know, three pounds and um, weight does matter in certain situations. Uh, you have to know if you're looking for clip lock versus twist lock uh, leg. And um, it's really just your preference. Um, maybe it's a $10 price difference. Already we see that it is pretty much as tall as I am. So that's pretty great. Now this head doesn't come with the tripod. This is a head that I purchased separately. And let me just cover a few of the features of the tripod before I get into the head. So uh, at five pounds with a very wide base, this is already so much more stable than my little cheapo tripod. Um, and you get this hook down here if you wanna add some sandbags, some weight, you know, just take a plastic bag, put some weight in it. Uh, they also sell something that uh, hooks onto all three legs and you can put weight on that uh, to stabilize all three legs. Um, there's these clips here and I don't even know what these clips do. Um, oh, look at that. Maybe that's what it does. So you can get like super low macro shots, like to, if you want to film ants or something. 
That's what the clip does. It lets you extend the angle past this right there. So that's pretty cool. Now, there's this blue twist. So check that out. I'm, that is like, so boom. So we're talking, we're talking about six foot four, six foot five right up here, which is great. I even have a little extender if I need to get another five or six inches uh, sold by Manfrotto. Um, now that is the tripod, very stable. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good investment. Um, make sure that you want either clip lock or twist lock before you buy it. I'll put links to both below. There's a little level here. And now let's talk about the head. Um, there's two general categories of head. There's, there's ball heads and there's, um, well, there's like three. There's ball heads, there's like super cheapo flat heads. And then this is called a fluid drag head. Now I'm not trying to move this slow. This thing has resistance in it and that's what you're paying for. This is the cowboy video fluid drag head and it's twice as cheap as any of the other major brands. This is um, maybe $80 and the Manfrotto and the Ravelli. I mean, you can go up to thousands of dollars for a tripod head. Um, but this is really good bang for your buck uh, under $100 and uh, it has a slide lock plate where you can put either 3 eighths or quarter inch um, right up there which is perfect. Let's get this back on here. Um, maybe this way, this way, yep. That'll work and twist it in place. It has two axes of motion, so back to forward. And I can just, see, let me just twist that a little over to you. I can go lock that there. And now, it, it basically it's only one axis of motion. Move that over to you. It has a switchable arm system here. Uh, left or right side, which is great. Um, I think you can buy a second arm if you want that classic two arm video. This is gonna get you so much smoother than a cheapo tripod. Uh, you, you have your subject positioned nicely in the frame. Uh, it's always good to leave a little room in your frame um, because the, the anti-stabilization, the, the stabilization, the anti-shake um, algorithms that are in Final Cut, they basically work by cropping. Um, and then they, they, they actually you know, do some motion uh, analysis, but uh, it basically works by cropping. So by leaving just a little bit of room in your frame, even with a beautiful setup like this, if you need to do any kind of stabilization for whatever reason, and I'm getting a little bit long-winded here, so let me show you some uh, demonstrations of the product. All right, so here is my setup. This is a very heavy 7200 uh, Nikon piece of glass, but the, the quality on this glass is incredible, uh, but it has uh, no image stabilization. The, this is the Sony a6000 has no internal in-body image stabilization like the a7 II has. Um, so this is a perfect candidate uh, where you're really going to see an improvement um, when using steady shot action. So as you can see that is the camera that I was shooting on. Look at that nice smooth motion. And let's go back right. Now the real key in smooth motion also lies within the camera operator, namely me. You just have to have the finesse. Uh, drink less coffee. I can surely have the finesse with the coffee because I know how to breathe. I know how to have myself centered. Um, so look at that nice smooth, 
you know, tracking, just tracking a subject on stage and, you know, do a little zoom here, a little focus, bring that fan into focus. Sure, it's overexposed. And let's bring the, oh, you see, that was me. That was my, I made a jitter there. So, foreground and focus. And let's do a nice little focus pull. Talking while operating the camera is a little bit more difficult, but let's go backwards. Bingo. And let's zoom out. So that was beautiful. So you saw the results that were pretty stellar. Uh, I'm not great at talking and focusing at the same time, but I think you got a little bit of taste. And let's see what we can do with the cheapo here, which is where everybody starts with a $15 tripod. I have literally had this tripod um, for 20 years. I've got the camera mounted. So it's literally, I mean, look at that. It's like the weight is just like sagging over. Cheapo tripod, AR in focus. So this is not a fluid drag head. And I have my feet on the legs. I could weight it. You know, you're gonna see a little bit of a difference, but. Left, right, now this is the slowest that I can go. See, it's just jerky. That is the slowest that I can go. Um, so there you have it. Uh, we have a beautiful Benro tripod, five pounds, gets up to six feet six, uh, with a Cowboy Video fluid drag head. Um, this has four and a half, five stars on Amazon. I find nothing wrong with this. It's solid. Uh, it, you know, you can replace the head on this Benro aluminum tripod. Um, you have your cheapo tripod, which is where everyone starts. And the purpose is to show you the side-by-side the, the -side comparison of what a more sophisticated tripod gives you. Uh, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, give me some feedback, let me know some any questions that you have. This is the Hunter Report, my name is Hunter Paris. Get creative, um, shoot those YouTube videos, get a little crazy, get a little weird, keep the creativity flowing, and I'll see you soon.